kicked off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of middleweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. He's coming down to the ring, and you can tell with that zip in his step that he plans on this one being a spectacular evening for him. Lights out's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. fellas let's have a good clean fight touch him up and let's go well they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight round one now underway he just missed that shot up top Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Lights Out. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Let's see some more head movement. And now he scores with that left to the body. Lights out! Tagged! Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Lights out. Left now getting into the mix. Fine looking right hand by Lights out. Move your head! Work the body! That's a huge left he just scored with. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Halfway through round number one. See him holding on. What does a fighter need to do to really build a foundation to a great career? Well, first of all, they have to have the desire to have that great career. There has to be something in them. There has to be coal in that furnace to burn and to burn later on. Maybe something happened to them in their life. Maybe through their parents, maybe through neighbors, maybe through coaches. Somebody told them they were never going to make it and they go in their mind that they're going to find a way to make those people wrong. Nice block by Lights Out. Side to side. Lights Out's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Solid right by Lights Out. And this round comes to an end. Lights out is really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent. But sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you could get a little bit of overconfidence. You could get careless. You know, you could forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring. 
things that you had to okay, understand okay, as far as defensive yeah. liabilities. He has Relax. to remember that. Relax. Are you all right? You need Here to you just... go. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard. He looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. And just grabbing on to his opponent. See how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Keep doing what you're doing. Nice work, the left hand to the head. That was a miss by Lights Out. Halfway through round number two. Lights out's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Keep working the body. Watch that. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Locks it away. Final 10 seconds of round number two. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by lights out. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round. And you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now. All right. It's, it's nice work. And round number three is underway. Lights out. Body language speaks volumes here. He doesn't look like he's ready to fire off this round. Move your head. Unable to land that shot. This one fires off the hook. Look at that. And he ties up on the inside. Sending out the power shot. It was a straight left hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, Focus. protecting the head. Oh, you're doing great. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. 
That's what I want to see. with that headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Lights out. Defense is now serving him well. Nice Watch job that. blocking that punch. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got hurt earlier in the fight? Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. But if you want to win this fight, you have to get a hold of yourself, you have to listen to me, and you have to find a way to create offense again. Keep working about it. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away? That jab, that's the way to go. He's tied, he's tied. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Scored well up top. Move your head. Hey, you got some of that too, let's go. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Last 10 seconds. Go! Go! And that's the end of round three. Now, deep breath. Deep breath. Holy Here shit, you, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. Okay, breathe in. Take a deep breath. Let's go, let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's move out there. This guy's gonna win this fight if you don't take control, son. You got to take some control out there. You need to cover up. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time. Reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Nice defense. Good block by Lights Out. Uppercut got him badly. Good way to protect the midsection. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Finish with the big hook, baby. Finish with the hook. Able to dismiss that body shot. Rushing uppercut by lights out. Turns over that hook upstairs. Nice one. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Halfway through this round here. Keep your head moving. There you go. Keep working the jab. Good, good. On the mark with a straight left hand. Double up on your punches. Keep moving. You've got to see that coming now. Come on. <laughs> Jump on him. Nice. And he 
engages in the clinch. To the head he goes with a left hand. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. Lights out's got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Ten seconds to go in this round. Come on, kid, focus. In this fight, you gotta pick it up. You hear me? You gotta pick it up. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. He's Not able ring. to land the headshot. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Combos, combos! Lights out's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Lights out, able to avoid that punch. Keep pushing. Keep moving, keep moving. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Looking good. In and out. In and out. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Lights out, proving to be elusive. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Double up on your punches. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He is floored by a big uppercut. to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Blocking that punch, very good defense by lights out. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And we come to the end of the round. In between rounds here, Lights Out's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is gonna sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what, this is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. Let's go, let's go, you can do it. You can do this. Now we can recover from that knockdown. Let's do it. Oh, 
we have to use more water next to me. Go to there. I got more. Start of a new round, and it seems like a whole new man. Hard to believe that this is the fighter that was just knocked down in the last round. Well, he's got some of those great recovery skills, kind of like Arturo Gatti used to always have. You know, he was a guy that he could be batted, he could look like he was barely hanging on, and then all of a sudden, the next round, he looked good to go. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainer's credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateur's credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. Nice. This is technique that was taught to him. Solid left hand. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. One, two, one, two. Beat him to the punch. Left, right, left, right. Come on, baby. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. One, two, we one, on two. Every Good job, boy. Good job. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Jam. Got the jam. Use the jam. Use the jam. That's it. Just like that. How about that left hand? Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shot. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. That's what I want to see. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Let's go. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. So we've reached the halfway point of this main event. right hand big big shot comes crashing home can he beat the king so here teddy now i know where they got that saying falling like a sis one two three four five six. the ref stops the fight lights out unable to get up and continue on
Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.